Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to paint your calipers red. Uh, currently my calipers are gray, and I think they used to be black, but they have since faded. Um, I think red will be a nice color on the blue, matching the Mustang logo. Um, I've done it on other cars that I used to own, so I like the aggressive look on it. So then, I already jacked up the car with my favorite jack, got my favorite dog. I did one side here, jacked that up. About to take this wheel off. Um, I got my wheel blocked on both sides and then once I have the wheel off I'm going to use this wire brush here brake clean then I got the rags underneath the catch any debris and then uh, I'm gonna do a little taping here and then I should be good to paint um, the paint I got here is pour 15 caliper paint I think you can use any paint in my opinion I don't think they get too hot but I thought I'd try out this can it's a brush on um, I've done spray on in the past and it works good um, I don't think it's as durable so I thought I'd try this out. Um, this will definitely take longer between coats, like three hours or so. And uh, with spray paint, you can do it every like 15, 20 minutes and do another coat. So I'd recommend spraying if you want to do it quicker. I'm just trying this out for now. Um, and then I will get that laid on. So let's get the wheel off first. All right, I got my wheel off. Um, taking off the snows for the spring. Still pretty meaty on here, but uh, I'm gonna start grinding this this little wire wheel. Um, if you don't have this, just use some sandpaper. These calipers are actually in pretty good shape. They're not really scaling, so it shouldn't take that long. I'm just going to hit it, brake clean it. I'm going to hit this caliper. I'm going to hit all this. I'm just going to hit this whole caliper here, and then uh, I will brake clean it, and then I should be good to tape it. Okay, so I got it wire wheeled, I got it brake cleaned, um, and it's ready to go. I'm pretty much just giving it a few minutes just to let the brake cleaner evaporate. Uh, but while I'm in here, I just like to look around, check any uh, like sway bar links and uh, bushings. And while the wheel was on, I did it, give it a little wheel bearing shake, um, just to make sure that this bearing in here is not bad. But it's all good and tight. So, pretty easy uh, copper to clean up and paint, I'd say. It's not an old car, it's a 2012. To me, that's not old, but... I've done calipers that were 15, 20 years old, and they were just corroded, especially German cars. Ford cars, in my opinion, are easy to work on, but hey, I've had them all. They're all different. All right, let's get it to paint. It's nice red. A little popsicle stick. All right, so far so good. Just applying it in a thin coat, like it said on the can. Um, I actually decided not to use any taping because I'm a maniac and I think that I can not get paint everywhere, but I probably will. But, um, so far so good with the application. I like the way it's applying. Seems like it's adhering pretty good. And then, uh, I'll get a second coat on, possibly a third coat. I'll see how it looks, but, um, I guess I'd rather not do a third coat if it looks good enough. But yeah, I will update you with this final first coat. It's coming out nice. Alright, so first coat is done with the brush and the little can. It's actually kind of fun. It feels like you're doing a little art project. Um, like I said, I didn't tape anything off because I'm nuts and I should have, but that's okay. See where I kind of hit the pad? I'm going to just try to get that off with a little brake cleaner after or uh, a little, uh, maybe even use that, there we go, that brush there. Um, but yeah, tape it off. It makes life a lot easier. I just didn't this time, um, but I think it came out pretty good. I pretty much covered everything I wanted to. As you'll get farther back in here, you'll see where I didn't. It's just because you're not going to see it. Yeah, the wheel's going to turn out to here. I mean, the caliper's going to point out. But I pretty much got everything that'll be visible when that wheel is turned. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it three to four hours to dry. And then uh, do a second uh, thick coat. And hopefully that's all I need. I'll do a third if I need to. But uh, until then, I'll be uh, doing the other side. Okay, so it's the next day. And as you'll see, I put the second coat on last night. Um, it came out really nice. I'm really happy with the brush on technique. I definitely definitely prefer it over the spray on technique considering I've done both um, For the sole purpose of no overspray um, No masking off and as you saw on the other clip I did get some paint in here. I simply just uh, wiped it out with a rag and some uh, Alcohol on it. No problem. Not a problem at all 
Um, I went a little thicker on this one by accident. It was my first uh, caliper. The other side came out better in my opinion. But yeah, definitely just need two coats. I won't do more than that. This looks good. Nice and vibrant. I'm very happy with it. Hopefully it doesn't look too bold, but it'll look good. But yeah, that's pretty much how you paint calipers red on any car. This is a Ford Mustang, but you can do this on any car, and I would definitely highly recommend the brush on technique. And thanks for watching. How could I not show the final product? Here it is. Nice contrast. Looking good.